So this is part of the discovery process. This is where we started developing our first prototype vaccine. And now we're looking at evaluating different lots of the vaccine to make sure that it's expressing that surface protein that you see on the, on the, the spikes sticking out of the virus. So Kai is assessing the vaccine to check that different batches are expressing the protein in the way that we would expect. So this is how we quality control the vaccine and make sure that uh, different batches work and also that it's safe in the storage conditions. because we're only used to working on trials um, of about 50 people. So now we've gone to maybe 350 people and then potentially several thousand. So we've been working up how to scale, how to do everything as quick, as efficient as possible. So it's a very busy time. I don't think we've ever been busier, So, but it's nice to be involved in it. So here we're testing uh, the volunteers' antibodies to see if they bind to that surface protein on the virus. And because we have to process a lot of samples, a lot of volunteers, um, we use a robot to make the process much more streamlined and efficient. What we see is a color change. So the samples that are showing strong binding come up with a strong yellow color and that gives us an indication as to whether they're making a response to the vaccine. So we can see on this plate nothing's come up positive because mm. it's completely um, blank. And then we can see like different kinds of yellows and how yellow it is it kind of um, shows how positive it is. Other experiments um, for our antibody related, but yeah we've got a mass and that stuff down there, isn't it? When we inject the RNA, when it's taken into the muscle cells, the muscle cells actually make multiple copies of that RNA, of the instructions, if you like. So rather than having one copy of the instruction, they may get a hundred or a thousand, and so they make much more protein. And that's why we can use a lower dose, because the dose that we put into an individual gets amplified within their own body. We're like a minnow amongst giants because these other groups have large pharmaceutical companies behind them, lots of money, um, and they're able to move that much faster. So one question might be, well, well why are we even bothering? Um, and the reason really is because there's never going to be enough vaccine to go round globally. Access will be an issue. Some of these first vaccines, uh, particularly Moderna, are likely to be extremely expensive, um, certainly well beyond 
the uh, you know the purchasing uh, power of many lower middle income countries. In reality, we're unlikely to be vaccinating many people who are infected at the point that they get the vaccine. But what will be important in the future is to see whether our candidate or any candidate protects against transmission of the virus or whether it just protects against getting a disease. So we may see that different vaccines work in different ways. In the absence of no vaccine, a vaccine that prevents people ending up in hospital would be very valuable.